What is going on everyone? Welcome back to Tree Man TV and in today's video I am here to bring you guys my thoughts after two years of owning this 2002 Subaru WRX behind me. So let's roll the intro and get right into it. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me. You can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five stick. You can get high. All right, you guys. So right away, the first thing you know about this car, I've had it for two years, obviously. Um, it's the car we do a lot of the car vlog series about. I'm gonna squat down because the camera's a little low. Um, 2002 WRX. I picked it up in Sacramento, California. The motor had already been swapped out to the EJ207 when I got it. I've done a few mods, so I'm gonna roll some B-roll footage right here and talk to you guys from the studio where my mic quality is a little better. I only have the built-in audio on the camera right here, so we're gonna transition to some B-roll of me walking around the car and me talking to you guys from the studio about more details, so let's roll. So as we start at the back of the car here, the first thing you'll probably notice are those TS10s we just put on there. When we got the car, it started life with the stock rims, as you can see in the photo shown on screen now. Then we went to those bronze wheels that we got off of the 07 WRX, right there in that photo. Uh, the car is the Midnight Black Pearl, uh, which means that underneath that black layer, there is a little bit of a blue tint to it in just the right sunlight, you can see it. The only thing really damaged to the uh, outside cosmetic wise was the two uh, fenders on the front of it. They were both kind of beat up. The passenger side one was really broken, as you can see it from this clip right here from the car vlog series, uh, episode eight, when we put on these nice carbon fiber ones that the car has nowadays. But aside from that, it was in great condition. And in fact, the damage to the bumper was caused when it was in an accident a couple of months ago when I owned it. Uh, someone backed into it while I was at work. And really all I did was crack the bumper, so I just gotta buy a new bumper and that'll be fine. A couple more shots of the new wheels as we come around the back of the car. You can actually see me here in the reflection of the trunk, uh, my lime green shirt as I poke my head around the corner of the car. So you can only imagine how excited I was when I found uh, a GD Bug Eye WRX in this creative condition when I started looking for a new car a couple of years ago. And with an asking price of right around $5,000, it was just a quick six hour drive with my dad down to Sacramento for me to go collect my new ride. Now, there is one thing about the car, which is that the body of it does have 200 plus thousand miles on it. However, as I alluded to earlier, the engine has been swapped. Long gone is the EJ205 that powered this car at its inception. In its place stands its beefier cousin from and actually used in Japan, the EJ207. With its thicker walls and a semi-closed deck, along with the red line over 8,000 RPM, this motor makes just over 300 horsepower, which is 80 more than the stock motor would have made on a good day. This particular model was also fitted with a twin scroll turbo, allowing it to build boost faster than most other WRX models and the single scroll that they come with. As we transition now to the interior of the car, there's a few things worth noting. First of all, the seats are not the stock seats. I installed those as soon as I got the car because the driver's seat was broken. Uh, the whole interior is out of an 04 WRX instead too. I installed this nice shifter bezel from an STI, and the car came with that touchscreen stereo, and then I put in both the boost and air fuel gauges just to give myself more information. And of course, down here we have got the rally pedals because the funnest thing is to drive this car. heard me saying in the voiceover one of my favorite things about this car is driving it 
which is why, of course, we switched to this GoPro footage of me driving and monologuing to you guys, um, so that you could get to see it. Of course, right now I am stuck behind this giant semi doing 40 in a 50, because, you know, you don't know how to drive. But, obviously, this is, like, probably the only, the main reason, not the only reason, but easily the main reason we bought this car was how much fun it is to drive. And I like to consider myself a driver. Like, not just someone who gets in a car and goes from point A to point B, but the actual experience of driving a car is what's fun to me. That's why, even before this, I owned a couple of older 3 Series BMWs, just automatic ones but they were still so much so engaging to drive you didn't get to shift like this which was the only thing that wasn't engaging but you did get to feel the road and like corner really hard not something like just i don't know not to pick on prius people but a prius like it's just gonna get you from point a to point b and if that's all you need that's fine but for me i like to experience driving the car which you'll get to see here as i come up on this passing lane and like a mile because this dude's still doing way too slow. There we go. There's a prime example of why I like this car. Sorry you had to hear me swear at the semi driver that doesn't know how to drive his semi. We can make that. We can make that. Watch me almost die. Nah, I wasn't even close. Tricked ya. Alright you guys, so maybe you've been watching this far into the video hearing me say all these really nice things about my experiences owning this WRX. And you're sitting there thinking to yourselves, yes, that is the next car I want to own. What do I have to do? Is there anything I should be aware of? Well, there is. There's a couple things you should really know and a couple things to look for before you really commit to looking for a WRX or STI as your next car, especially something from this GD body style. Number one is these cars are kind of rare and they're only gonna get more rare. What do I mean by that? Well, the GD body style, which is anything from like the Bug Eyes, Blob Eyes, and Hawk Eyes, or 01 through, no sorry, 02 through 07. Those are what is known as the GD body style of the WRX. And they are probably the most sought after because a lot of people view them as iconic. Uh, like me personally, I went after this bug eye because looking back on my childhood, uh, Uncle Jules' his first WRX that I ever knew was a bug eye. And that helped, fall, helped me fall in love with Subarus. Uh, Colin McRae won a few of his in a bug eye. So like that really had that icon look for me. Uh, a lot of people like the blob eye because it was the first STI America ever got. So they, those are a little more rare to find too. And then some people think that Hawkeye is just the cleanest of the three GDs. But those are by far the most sought after WRXs that you can look for, is anything in the GD era. They are also gonna become a little bit more rare because the newest version of the WRX slash STI coming out in 2021 or 2022, whenever they actually get it done, won't have the iconic EJ engine in it anymore. Well, the WRX already doesn't, as most of you probably know. If you're at all WRX fans like I am, then you know the latest model of WRX didn't come with an EJ motor. It came with an FA motor, and it also came with a six-speed instead of a five-speed. But the newest STI is actually retiring the EJ257? Comment below if I got that number wrong. I get the number wrong with that USDM STI motor a lot but they are actually retiring that motor in favor of a new direct injection FA style motor. So any EJ motor is gonna gain a little bit of value. If you're at home with just, you know, the standard EJ205, I mean, you might not necessarily be holding on to gold, but something like this, which is from imported from Japan, never sold in America, definitely is gonna hold some value. So. That's another reason that people might start asking more on these cars. Oh, this road's bumpy. Uh, another thing to keep in mind when looking for WRXs for sale, this is more so for WRXs than STIs, uh, 
mileage around 150,000 miles. And what I mean by that, and you've probably heard it somewhere else before, head gaskets. The head gaskets on that EJ205 open deck motor are almost guaranteed to fail somewhere around 150,000 miles on it. So if a car has right around that and they're asking dirt cheap, that's probably why. If it has a little over that and you feel like they're asking like too much almost, like maybe $6,000, but it says it was perfectly, like professionally rebuilt, then you're almost getting a new motor. So it's kind of values, it kind of evens it out. Sorry, trying to drive in monologue is a little harder than I thought it would be. But those are definitely some of the main things. The miles around 150,000 is where head gaskets, water pump. And the reason head gaskets are so hard is because it's a boxer motor. So we, your best bet to changing them is to pull the whole motor. And as Uncle Jules tells me, while you have the motor pulled, you might as well change water pump, timing belt, all that. So it's kind of just uh, when your tie head gaskets go, not necessarily rebuild the motor, but you're doing that much work almost. And then finally, the last thing to look for is just the condition of the car. If you find a beautiful GD WRX and someone's asking like four grand for it, it's got great miles, like anywhere from 100 to 125,000, so you can get ready for the ine inevitable doom or just after the inevitable doom. But at the same time, it looks like that dude beat the shit out of it. He probably did. And that might not be the one you want to buy. Like this car, for example, once again, had one owner when I bought it. I am literally the second owner of this 2002. The guy I bought it from in Sacramento, shout out to him, bought this car fresh off the lot because he wanted to feel like he was in Fast and Furious. Those are the words he told me. So previous owners are definitely a big indication on whether or not you should buy a car, especially one this old. This car is going to turn 20 in two years. Comment down below if you want to see me do a special video for when this car turns 20. Guess what? I'm probably going <laughs> to. But. That is all that I have got for you guys this time. I hope you enjoyed me testing out this GoPro too. It's gonna be in a lot more videos coming up rather than me holding a phone with my right hand and trying to drive. Uh, if you enjoyed the two year review of me owning my WRX, be sure to smash the like button. If you aren't subscribed, smash the subscribe button as well. We are still trying to get to 200 subscribers and then on the road to verified at a thousand so we could use all the help we can get. Uh, until next time, right back here in my WRX or right up there in the lab, this has been Tree Man signing off. Peace out, guys.